Hey everyone, it's Helen and today I have a haul for you because I went to VanCav over the weekend. VanCav stands for Vancouver Comic Arts Festival. It's a two-day festival where all of the local artists, animators, writers, and self-publishers come and sell their comics to all guests. It's a free event. It happened during May 18th to 19th. I've been in the indie comic scene for three years now. I do not sell art. I do not table in these events. I'm just an attendee. I just like to support these artists and I like to buy art, particularly zines, zines and indie comics. VanCap honestly grew over the past years. The first time I went to VanCap was back in 2014. And then this year, they now have three different rooms. So there is the exhibition hall, the gym, and the Lucky's Lounge. You get to talk to these artists. This is why I like going to these events. Like the main appeal to me is being able to interact with different artists meeting new friends and talking about like what their comic is about what inspired them to make them those sort of thing but I know you're here for the haul so let's get to it I bought mostly zines the first one that I got is Isola the coloring process this is by Misasik and she is the colorist for Isola Isola is a comic about a queen who got turned into a tiger and as a tiger she has to travel to this faraway island so that she could retrieve her soul. Basically this book is her process and how she colored the comics so it has all of the photoshop things that I need to learn from. She is a photoshop expert. You can actually see a lot of the changes that she made. She's very transparent on the kinds of layers that she uses. And this is what I love about this book. At the back, she reveals that this was actually therapeutic for her. The art style is phenomenal. I love it. Isola is a comic from Image Comics, and currently there's only one volume that's out. There are expected five volumes soon. The second volume is currently being printed and should be released at the end of this year. By the time I got to the table, the last book for Isola, volume one, is already reserved. There wasn't any anymore. You can only order it online now or go to your local comic bookstore to see if they have it. But fortunately, my public library carries volume one of Isola, so I will be placing a hold on it so I can read it. <sighs> so in Lucky's Lounge, basically you go inside this hall and as you go there's like a banner and there is these lines of tables that are arranged side by side where you can see the artist there i met another helen these two zines are by helen nguyen or Wei nguyen these were so poetic to me and elegant this is called it's time to wake up now and this one is 15 minutes at a time very structured geometry and lines and form they're very poetic Look how beautiful this page is. So these are really good examples of alternative comics. They, t they tend to be a mix of anything. It could be poetry, it could be drawings, it could be an anthology of stories with illustrations in them. So all of these are just illustrations. Thank you so much, Wei. Please let me know if I am pronouncing your name. I swear I do remember. So zines, if you don't know, zines can be anything. It could be poetry, it could be drawings, it could be comics. In Lucky's Lounge, I also got these two free stickers. Make zines from Moniker Press. Moniker Press is a local risograph and print and publishing studio. Any self-publishing that you want to do, you go to this location. If you draw, draw your art, you go there, you get it printed, you get it binded. Rizzo printing is very popular in a lot of these scenes. Um, yeah, so that's, this is the studio that offers those services. I also went around the exhibition hall and it's not just comics that they sell. They sell charms, they sell accessories, keychains of fandoms that they draw fan arts i mean i got a charm and it is house moving castle house moving castle is my first ever studio ghibli film that i watched with a friend last month it was so magical i watched it in theater too this is a laser cut wooden charm with a tiny fork dangling at the very end by art of a yell all of the artists that i'm gonna show and their works i'm gonna put those down in the description 
link all of those Instagram accounts down there. The next zines that I'm going to show are by two artists and they draw food. Basically their hashtag Tumblr is called friends and food. These are called tiny drawings of big food, the savory edition and the sweets edition. So this is a zine that has these drawings of food, just food. <laughs> and the fun part of this is that you can open them up and it shows all of these drawings all together. And the thing is, these are drawn by two different artists and they managed to create something so cohesive. I absolutely love it. And there's a quote at the, for both of them. So these said, treat yourself by Donna Meagle. And then we fold it back. You just fold it in half. Boom. Yay. Same with the savory edition. Has all of the, all the food, all the food that I love to eat. <laughs> Folds out like this. And the quote here says, first we eat, then we do everything else by MFK Fisher, which I totally agree. Fold that back, fold down, fold back like this. Finally, the last two items that I have are a zine and a comic. So these two items in particular, these are from a UK-based subscription comic box. This is called Shortbox Comics, and they came to Vancouver from the UK to participate in VanCav. Ah, oh, isn't that great? Whenever we have non-locals who are coming by for VanCav, it's always such a pleasure. It's like a great opportunity to make friends. So both of these two comics are from Shortbox. They provide independent comics that are delivered to your door. Okay, so here, here's some information about Shortbox. If you're interested in it, it works on a pre-order basis. Every box contains five comics, an A4 print, and candy. The proceeds that go from your order is used to print the books and to select the candy that goes for your box. In between boxes, comics can be bought separately online or at the conventions. And I'll put more information on that and their website down in the description below as well. This one in particular is called Beneath the Dead Oak Tree by Emily Carroll. She's a local Canadian author from Ontario and she draws horror fables with a really grim twist on every single story. Let me show you what I mean. Like the art style is absolutely lovely, but wait, it gets better better because there's gonna be blood blood everywhere splattered all over the pages it's so pretty it's so pretty this was originally 12 dollars but because it had um the corners are kind of messed up so they gave it to me for 10. this was also the last copy from their table when i was there this is about a female fox who met another male fox in a ball and the male fox invited her to meet beneath the dead oak tree. If you have not seen my Van Cap 2018 haul from last year, I will link that somewhere in this video. But Emily Carroll, I met last year. The book that she signed last year is called Through the Woods, which was the book that was released back in 2014 that my friend gave to me as a present. And I highly recommend that book. And the last one is called Homunculus by Joe Sparrow. This is a story about a female scientist and her sentient AI that she created. She interacts with this AI like a friend um, and like a, as a mentor as well, like basically teaching this AI how the world works. But the AI doesn't move. The AI is stuck in the lab and the world just breezes through. It seems like a charming story. Look at her playing the ukulele, singing to the AI. It's so adorable. It's so adorable. Like, look, she even teaches. Oh my gosh, Inception, she's showing a book. I'm showing a book to you. She's teaching the AI colors and how colors mix. It's, it's so adorable. I love it. I love it. Yeah, and basically those were the things that I bought from VanCath this year. I also met Tess. Tess is this wonderful artist, Estonian artist. If you remember from my haul last year, I opened that zine that looks like an accordion in a diamond shape. She was the artist from it and we and I made friends with her and I was so happy. Tess, if you're watching this, you rock. You get to make friends with your artists. You get to hang out with them. You get 
glad to know more about the industry if you are interested in animation or tv production or print production bandcamp is my favorite festival i always love going to it mainly to talk to the different artists the different creators it's such a nice place to be <laughs> have you gone to bandcamp have you gone to tcaf toronto comic arts festival have you gone to any comic festivals let me know in the comments below let me know what part of the festival you enjoy if you did go this year and as always hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever i upload a new video i'll catch you guys in my next one see ya bye